Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, we're gonna talk about these full moon energies and more than likely, you're feeling these ahead of time. And I talk about this as it pertains to your life and let's get right into it. So the first thing I wanna let you know is this is the first full moon in July. It's a super moon. That means it's gonna appear much larger it's going to be very visible at the perigee. That's the criteria for calling it a super moon. You were to compare it to other moons, it looks like this and the other moons look like this. Like it, it simply appears larger if you can see it. Really hard to see with a lot of the smoke that's in the air or else it appears almost like, you know, really orangey but you'll probably still see it. You're going to feel it. You're already feeling these energies from the moon. They are crazy, lots of accidents. This is always, this time of year, the energy of revolts, of riots, of fire. There's a lot of fiery, angry energy, but there's also a lot of energy that's being expended and dissipated. Now, we've had a lot of major changes this year. This is where some of that energy just sort of, kind of like it comes to a crescendo for people. You have to pace yourself so that you don't fall into a crash and deplete yourself. Focus on you because world events can get to you. They can make you depressed. Focus on you. For women, you're gonna have a focus on your reproductive areas, your mood, because regardless of where you're at, you probably will feel some things. I have recommendations for that. In fact, I am running a full moon workshop to help you. The other thing is, is this is called the thunder moon and it's sometimes called the buck moon. Why is it called the buck moon? It's called the buck moon because the little baby deer that were born in the spring, the males get their antlers and they become bucks and, you know, they're feeling their oats and usually they, you know, by the end of the season, they're in a totally different position. So there's been a lot of growth, a lot of, you know, hurry up and wait kind of energy and there it is. But it is also called the thunder moon because traditionally this is a time of year of a lot of thunderstorms and boy, have we had storms? We've had wind, we've had rain, we've had, you know, tropical storms, we've had heat waves. What is going on? I want to tell you something about thunder and lightning. You know, the ozone layer that we think is, you know, it's there, it's protecting us. It's deflecting a lot of the sun's rays or filtering them properly. Well, we have a solar maximum coming, so there is a solar flare of energy, it's going to have an effect. The entire cosmos can have an effect on you. And yet you're not really the size of a little grain of sand. You can feel like that at times, but you are actually a much higher consciousness being. And you're being brought online in a much more expansive way. So these things have more significance for you. And yet you bear a responsibility to do it properly so that you're utilized to seeing these energies for your good and the good of all. So the thunder moon, so guess what? The lightning replaces the ozone. Do you ever smell that thing or have a thing in your neighborhood that detects the lightning? Sends a little alarm for the people to get off the field. That smell, that kind of acrid smell, that is ozone. It's simply three oxygen molecules. It floats up into the atmosphere and replenishes the ozone layer. Why is it so extreme? Well, it's kind of extreme at this time of year because there's a change of season. There's fluctuations in the wind patterns. They change from season to season during the spring and the fall. They're called the trade winds during the uh, winter and summer solstices. The patterns change. You have more of an upward push from the south and so it cre you know creates these vortices. Some of you like vortexes. Well, guess what? These storms are kind of a vortex of earthly energy to carry away debris, to move, to blow, to blow it all away, to refresh, refresh your area. And the smoke is gonna go at some point. I pray for rain. We had two good rainstorms here. Are you praying for rain in your area or are you just railing at politicians about climate change? If you worry about climate change, 
Stop buying crap. Stop throwing it out where it goes in a landfill and do your part. Because part of the climate change is simply caused by a chemical reaction of methane going into the air and, you know, that can create a greenhouse effect. Okay, some of it's really simple, but the storms are trying to correct that. You may not know this, but this is my guidance. Why are we having such extreme weather? In some ways, it's to simply replace the molecules that protect you, okay, that let you breathe properly. The other thing about this energy, this is really, I would say it like this, okay? It's not just energy. It can be you being proactive for feminine renewal, particularly for the lion's gate. It's going to be end of times. What does that mean? It does not mean the end of the earth. What it means is it is the end of timelines. Pay attention to your heart energy, okay? Heart, your physical heart, other parts inside your chest. You could begin feeling like you have some irregularities. You have um, energies that need to lift up. You have things that are going on here. Make sure that you honor your heart, your physical heart. Make sure that you're aware of how healthy you are because this is going to be when ancestral things come up. Feminine renewal simply is going to mean it's time to refresh, recharge, reinvigorate, renew, make it new, your feminine areas. That's not just your reproductive area. Your lungs are feminine. Part of your heart is feminine. Part of your throat, the thyroid, that's feminine. The pituitary gland, that's feminine. These are all feminine essenced organs. There are masculine essence organs. Frankly, the masculine is giving out quick bursts of energy and he is going to run out of gas. He collectively electric masculine this can mean men this could be women with masculine energy there are a lot of closures and i'm going to make this suggestion do not be hasty this is going to include in traffic this is going to include in personal interactions with family this is going to include interactions with complete strangers give people latitude hold the door for them say thank you be pleasant be kind Stop the raging and the rampaging. Can you catch yourself? Men and women, you have to have some kind of regulation because it all needs to stop. It starts at home. It starts with you. This energy will amplify those situations. Be aware, okay? And do not be hasty. Don't be in such a big hurry that you're cutting people off in traffic. I know people, and sometimes we're impatient, we feel affected, go to any hospital emergency room, you're gonna feel that the full moon has affected people. They came up in one of my webinars, and a lot of the people were in a Middle Eastern culture, and we were working over Zoom, and I said, the tides will affect you, the lunar energy will affect you, your body's made of water, there's gonna be a pull on you. And they said, really? And I said, how about what happens? You know, how many sirens do you hear? Police, ambulances, go to a hospital, see how many crazy things, accidents are being cared for in these places with first responders. So please do not be hasty, okay? All right? Like less speed, you know, haste makes waste sometimes. Be judicious. Pause a moment if you need to. The other thing is, this is a lot of earth energy renewal. We have fires, could be the opportunity to build, to plant. We have to take the lemons and make them into lemonade. How you're going to do it with acres, and I know it's Canada Day, Canada, you have growing pains. The United States have growing pains. A lot of countries are having growing pains. Why? Because we're growing. We're integrating. We are absorbing. We are resituating. Okay, so there is going to be earth energy that coincides with that that needs renewal. But we have to stop shooting first and asking questions later. A lot of people have this pattern in their family. They'll get angry at each other. They'll go off. And they, you know, then they ask the questions after they've made someone else feel bad. They make their kids feel bad. How many of you grew up like with a crappy childhood where that was the pattern in your family? Or you had a parent who was addicted and they would just always be going off or slumping over over something, right? This is different. We have to make it different. We have to stop doing these patterns of reactive behavior, okay? Protection is one thing, but... 
overreacting. That is sometimes not the way to do it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to say in this energy, Thunder Moon, guess what? It's hot. It's hot. It's humid in a lot of places. There is a lot of dome of hot air. That makes people irritable, edgy. They can't relax. It grates on the nerves. There is a comfort zone that your body can live in. What if people have no air conditioning? What if people have no resources? What if they can't get to a place? Okay, it's hot. Water, please. Now, I thought about this because I have traveled around and I've been actually amazed at how many microbreweries, how many wineries, vineyards, and I think to myself, they're using a lot of water, but does, shouldn't that water go to people? How many people's water is being diverted for other reasons when it's needed to grow food? You know, we talk about food insecurities and we talk about food, but the water makes a difference. This is where you come in. Because if you are not, what do you mean this is where I come in? If you are not anchoring your grid in your point, we need to stabilize this energy. But how do we do that? How do we do that? I'm going to talk about some of it in my workshop. Like how would you do some of the grid so that you're simply caring for your grid. You're caring for the land and the earth and the people in the community in your grid where you are. It doesn't mean you go off to Egypt and, you know, go to a pyramid. That energy has already moved. It's already a part of the end of times. This is where people are getting a little mixed up. Machu Picchu is roped off for a reason. The pyramids are roped off for a reason. You know, those were parts of the old grid. Your grid in modern times is your home base. It's going to be where you can anchor both of your energies in and stabilize and uplift and get your life uplifted and up-leveled and ascended. So that's how this works. You might be upset. Please don't be upset. You focus on what you can do. And if you don't know, join the workshop. Now, another thing with this thunder moon, what happens with thunder? Yeah, it shakes things up. It scares people. But once it's rolled through, it's kind of done its job. What is left? Fresh ideas from the Divine Feminine, which equals freedom. Maybe some of this should include safety, housing, water, food, shelter, okay? How many people really feel safe? Do you feel safe in your marriage? Do you feel safe in your area? Do you feel like there's things? This, I'm going to tell you what this moon is for. It's for the heart, okay? It's for the heart's desires. What do you desire? Maybe it's your own house. Maybe it's a different area. Maybe it's your business. Maybe this is going to be the energy over a little period of time here for getting yourself in the mode of what do I desire? What is it I really want? Please get back to as ever basic as you can make it, okay? If you're in a room share situation, maybe what that means is I need my own place. Maybe if you, you know, it's one thing to be van lifing and enjoying it, but it's a whole other thing if you are forced to do things just to survive. You have to have those wishes of the heart because this energy wants to complement that. And I want to teach you through my workshop, what are the things that can come of it? How can we do this? Now I have the full moon workshop. I have my webinar. I have my brand new book out. The links are below. Um, I hope you'll join. We are going to um, meet and we are going to do some earth stuff. We're meeting over Zoom. Please let me know if you have any questions. Check out my website, twinflamereconnection.com. And we all hope to see you there. Bye now.